Hey up everyone, I'm back again. So I uh, just wanted to do a quick little video here uh, looking at the official Lollipop update for the Note 3 uh, and this is running the TouchWiz UI so uh, you're still going to get all of your excellent S Pen uh, integration with this uh, and I did uh, flash this on my white Note 3 which was sitting in a cupboard for quite a while but uh, still runs very good indeed and you uh, can see here uh, we have uh, quite a familiar area of notification icons here, but obviously uh, they have uh, updated the look, so it's the latest TouchWiz now. Uh, the old TouchWiz was a bit uh, ugly, if we're to be honest. It had been there since, like, God knows the earlier uh, Samsung devices, so it was definitely due for uh, upgrading in terms of the look. And uh, if we go into the settings, you can see here we've got uh, quite a familiar tab view and uh, it's very uh, nice and clean the way it uh, kind of melts into the notification shade and changes the colour to cyan uh, and uh, the settings are quite similar as you can see uh, you're not really losing anything from the uh, previous uh, versions of TouchWiz so if you're worried about that you needn't be uh, and uh, if we go into the phone, we can see we have a green uh, theme here, which is uh, quite a bit cleaner, I think, than the other one, which was uh, a bit uh, ugly. Uh, but uh, you can see also the messages have an orange theme, which is uh, very nice. Uh, the only one which I'm not too sure about is the uh, like a web browser. Uh, this is Samsung's own web browser, and uh, probably help if I was connected to my Wi-Fi. Just uh, get connected. Don't know why it's taking itself off. So uh, we're on the Wi-Fi now, and. Uh, we go to the browser and then just search for something. So you can see here we have uh, a uh, kind of grey type of uh, background there, which to me looks a bit weird. Uh, you know, I think that uh, probably would have been better a darker colour. Uh, it makes it doesn't really look right with the fact that you've got like the white kind of uh, you know these white kind of icons here. It makes them a bit difficult to see. Uh, but uh, if you do look at the uh, new tabs kind of thing, you can see here this is uh, quite a nice interface. Uh, probably wouldn't use it over Google Chrome though. Uh, it's uh, not sure why Samsung insists on having its own browser in there now. I think Sony done away with theirs quite a long time ago. Uh, but other than that, uh, we have uh, obviously quite a few apps on this particular update, which I would have liked if they'd have got rid of them, to be honest. To me, it's just a bit of a chore going through all these stuff and getting rid of them, such as Bloomberg Business. Uh, and TripAdvisor and things like that, so it is quite uh, bloaty. But obviously, uh, if you go to the settings uh, and then go to your general, and uh, somewhere in here, if I just search for it, I really like this search thing, which is uh, very useful. We can see here, we can just uh, go into something and uh, disable it. and uh, hopefully that should be gone okay. so uh, it's not too difficult to get rid of and uh, you can also uh, hide apps as well this is qu quite a quick way to get rid of them this is a Polish version of the official update I couldn't get the Vodafone UK want to work on this for some reason it kept falling over when I was trying to install it but other than that it seems to be very stable 
and if we look at the camera you can see here it looks uh, quite similar not too different really it doesn't carry over the Note 4's interface at all uh, but uh, it's still everything seems to work good and uh, so uh, you get your 4K as well somewhere in here in these settings somewhere in here there we go let's just give that a go so that seems to work okay no issues there and uh, can I have a look at the uh, music app so it looks quite similar there you know not uh, too much in the way of differences you do get all of your equalizer settings still which is very nice indeed I would like a pitch editor though like LG I think that's a quite a cool addition so in terms of the actual model number it looks like we're running Android 5.0 so not the latest Android but still uh, it's lollipop at the end of the day so you're going to benefit from Project Volta and all sorts of other very nice uh, optimizations, which uh, we do like to see. And uh, as we can see, getting uh, quite to grips with this uh, horrible game, but still uh, practicing nevertheless. And uh, obviously, you'd probably be quite uh, concerned about the S Pen usage. And uh, I think the S Pen usage has been improved a little bit. For example, you can go to YouTube and then go into the top and then scroll it down like that. And then, if you want to minimize it, go into your little bubble mode like on the Note 4 which is quite cool and uh, you can have a whole load of these little bubbles with not all apps support this by the way but uh, most of them do particularly the Google apps uh, and uh, obviously you have your uh, nice uh, quick circle setting here which uh, seems to be working quite well so you can quickly select something then share it out and uh, pen window as well so quite a few stuff here that you can have a go yourself but uh, it's nice to see that uh, the core functionality is still working so uh, yeah you know just a quick video here to show you the official lollipop on the Note 3 might do some performance tests against some other devices to see if we see any improved performance uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you next time cheers